Hi guys and welcome back. So it's been a minute since I've done a sit down video like this. I have a bunch of stuff that I got from Dollar Tree. I went today just randomly to see what they had and it's random stuff. Um, but some nail stuff, some random things. Uh, I know I look a little crazy because I didn't put any makeup on. I'm gonna try and test out some things that I got from the Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna show you what I got and then we're gonna go ahead and try it to see how it is. Um, I don't usually get makeup from the Dollar Tree, but I did hear, um, I believe the brand is called Ioni or I, I, you know, I don't even know how to pronounce it. And this time they did have a couple things from that brand. So I wanted to try it out and see how they work. Um, and then I got just some random stuff, like I said. So this pack of roses, I found it thrown around somewhere. I don't even know if they had any more or any colors, but these are just like a felt, not felt. Um, what would you call this material? I don't even know. But they look realistic, and I figured they would be cute um, when Valentine's Day comes to put behind your nails to take pictures. So I did pick up these two packs. They're fortune cookies, and they do have little fortunes inside. Now, I thought it would be a good idea for any nail tag. I would use the fortune and place my own little, little um, notes in there. I was thinking it would be perfect for sales or discounts or you give your client a fortune cookie and whatever they get inside would be their prize. So if that is a discount off a nail set, a free nail set, a free cuticle oil, whatever the case may be, I just thought it would be a cute idea to spice things up when you have clients. So the next thing I picked up is this exfoliating um, glove. I do have one already and I love this thing. I use this in the shower and you pretty much just put on uh, whatever type of scrub you would like and clean or scrub your body with this. So I just picked this up because I needed another one but this is good. So I did pick up two more of these. I have these in my other haul. They are just facial brushes but I use them um, to dust off or clean off the nails um, with alcohol they're, they're perfect for that so I just got two they were a dollar of course each so the next thing I picked up are these makeup blender sponges and I thought they were so cute they are uh, like a cupcake and they're in the heart shapes so I've never seen these before I believe um, obviously it's only there because they're Valentine's um, but I wanted to test these out and see how they work. I bought um, another sponge from the Dollar Tree um, before and I love it. So I did see it again today and I did pick up another one so I'll show you which one that is. Alright, so the next thing I picked up is this switching sponge. This is for makeup. Um, when you're applying eyeshadow and you want to switch up the color, you'll just rub your brush on this sponge and um, move on to the next color and it clears the brush for you. So this is really good. I've seen this on other websites and this does the exact same thing at for a dollar. So I highly recommend this. If they have it at your Dollar Tree, you can pick that. So they did have these soak off nail caps um, in the pack, a five pack. And this is just for um, if you have gel polish, you want to wrap some cotton ball with acetone um, and you would just place these on your fingers and have them sitting there. Um, it holds everything in place. The next thing I picked up are these Q-tips. I just needed them. <laughs> if you haven't tried these Dollar Tree Q-tips, they're actually good. Um, they're not cheap and they're not too small. They're actually good quality and for a dollar, you can't beat it. So the next thing I picked up, um, these are just crafter squares. It's like a piece of fabric. Um, I picked it up in both this pink color and black and I just figured these would be perfect for backdrops for my nails when I do nail sets. So these are cute. They had other different, um, prints as well, but these were the only two that I liked or thought would be cute. 
All right, the next thing I picked up are these makeup remover pads. Um, these are dupes for the, the makeup eraser, and these do work. I've had these before, and I just wanted to purchase more. These are actually in like a heart shape for Valentine's Day, but they do have like, you know, the classic square that looks like the darker pink, like the magic eraser. So there's that. All right, I did pick up this cuticle oil and then nail strengthener. This is the first time I see that as well. I usually go and look to see if they have anything in the nail section. Um, Dollar Tree doesn't usually have a big selection of nail stuff. Um, they do have some press-ons, um, some regular polishes and some nail files, but nothing that I would use. Uh, so I did pick this up. It says it maintains healthy nails and cuticles, moisturizes with vitamin E. Um, so this was the last one. I'm guessing they're a hit and I've never seen them before. So I'm going to try that out. The next couple things are going to be from that Ioni brand. Ioni, Ioni. I did pick up this high, it says non-sticky moisturizing high shine lip gloss. And it does have glitter. So I picked that up. I did pick up this blush. It's a pigmented color, soft texture, buildable, blendable br uh, blush. And this is what the color looks like. They did have a waterproof uh, brow pencil. I don't normally use brow pencils, but I figured why not try it out? I heard this brand is good. So we're gonna test that out today. Uh, I also picked up their mascara. It is a volumizing black mascara, also in the same brand. I picked up um, the eyelash glue. I do have this already. I wanted to pick up another one because it was good. And I haven't seen it since the last time I bought it. It is 100% vegan. And I just go ahead, went ahead and bought another one. So this is a liquid eyeliner. It's also in that same brand and in the color black. So you know I love me some wing liner. I do it with every look that I do. So we're gonna test that out. I'm excited. I hope those products are good because for a dollar you can't beat that. Now this, I just saw it thrown randomly. I don't, it says uh, the brand is B color and it's just a bronzer and blush in one and it's cookie scented so this is what that looks like and then I did pick up this brush um, just to try it out with the items that I got um, as far as makeup and we're gonna test that out as well so this is what it looks like I thought it was cute packaging so hopefully it works good so the next thing I picked up, I already have this and I thought I'd pick up another one. It's in the brand P, or I'm sorry, B Pure. It's a sugar coffee body scrub. And I use this when I do my own pedicures. This smells amazing. Mm, it smells, it smells like coffee, but it also has like a chocolatey scent. Next thing I picked up are these fabric gift bags I got these as well um, there's these pink hearts and then these hearts I thought they would be perfect for goodie bags for clients if you want to put like a little cuticle oil and a little nail flower little things like that little candies just to give away um, it's always nice to do little things for your clients um, like that so these are it was a three pack for a dollar, so I picked up two just to try it out. I only have two more things, and then we're gonna go ahead and test out the makeup. So uh, I picked up these two, I guess it would be, it says vanity organizers, but I am gonna use it for my nail station to put my acrylic brushes and uh, other brushes in here or my essentials, nail files, um, nail clippers, um, the glue that I use on a daily basis. So I picked up two um, just in case I needed another one. Um, but these are perfect. They're acrylic and they were only a dollar. I keep saying that, but obviously it's only a dollar. We were at the Dollar Tree. Actually, it's not a dollar. It's dollar twenty-five now. All right. So I guess we're gonna get into testing out this makeup. 
Uh, I'm gonna try the lip gloss first, just because, why not? So this is what it looks like, it has glitter. Mm. It smells, I don't know what it smells like, but it smells good. Let me try it out. So it doesn't feel sticky and you don't feel the little specks of glitter. I don't like when uh, lip gloss has glitter and you can feel it. So it has no texture. It's not sticky and it feels good. So we're gonna go ahead and trust it out, hopefully. Hopefully we like it. The thing with um, Dollar Tree, sometimes you'll get like the, the cheap makeup that turns your, your lips white like here. I don't like that. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully it doesn't do that in this video. <laughs> Let's go in with the brow pencil. So the brow pencil is in the color dark brown. This is what it looks like. And it's just a classic. Let me get a, let me go get a mirror one second. Okay, so I picked up the first mirror I could find and that happened to be the Jeffree Star palette. So we're gonna go and try this out. I really need to do my eyebrow. I'm gonna go tomorrow. Like I said, I don't usually use pencil, so I haven't done this in a while. So if it comes out messed up, don't judge me, we're just testing it out. I will say the consistency is good. It's creamy, um, it's pigmented. Now I would take a brush at this point and try to soften it up a little bit, but we're just testing it out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on. This is what that looks like. It is good, I would say. Now, I don't know how well it'll last. And it did go dull pretty quickly. Now, I did apply a generous amount. So, like I said, this is a classic eyebrow pencil, so you would need a sharpener. But so far, so good. This brush feels a little cheap, I will say. Let's try. I smell everything, um, so don't mind me, but this seems pretty light. I don't think this is gonna show at all. Let me go ahead and do it with the mirror. There is a lot of fallout and it's pretty light, so let me see. Nothing. Yeah, I don't see this. Maybe if you were more fair, um, you would be able to see it, but it's a very light color. And there's a lot of fallout. It's all over my pants right now. I'm just putting it everywhere at this point. <laughs> Trying to give me a little bit of color, cause damn. Yeah, it's, it's not it, it's not it. Well, this is why it's a dollar. No, you will find some good things at the dollar store. That just does nothing. It's a little, little wash of color, but I wouldn't purchase this again. And I would definitely not use it. 
I mean, there's a little bit of, of a difference. I do see a little bit of color, but barely. Now, let me go ahead and try this. That was a different brand, so it could be because it's that B color brand. Um, now, this one is from the Ioni brand. Oh, I was going to say what? It's just thrown in there, but no. This is what it looks like. It's like a little box and it just opens up. This is the color. And hopefully this isn't too bright. We're gonna try this. I'm just gonna put a generous amount just to see. And hopefully I don't mess this up. Okay. So this, um, I do see some color here. I was expecting it to be like really dark because it looks dark in the pan but it's actually really pretty I like that now I will need to clean this up put some on my nose and I'm trying to just put some more I like this this is pretty they had another shade, but I didn't pick it up because I wanted to try this out first. Now, I would definitely clean this up a little bit, um, but look at how pretty that color is. I love it. This would be good. I know that there's a trend going on um, that you're supposed to look like you've been outside, uh, like in the snow, where you would really put a lot of blush on your nose and your cheek area the whole way. So this would be cute for that. I think I OD'd, but. And then the brush isn't bad. I forgot to mention the brush. Oh. So it's not bad. The brush is pretty good and it's cute. I love that. Look at that. This is cute. I'm gonna have to clean that up so you can see it. Um, completed but for the sake of this video we're just gonna try it out um okay so i like that now let's go ahead and try let's go ahead and try the eyeliner now that i have a mirror i can get up there close and we'll see how this goes now again i don't like um i don't like felt tip liners so we will see Playing trances, going off to different places, different planets. Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance. What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty handed. You like the fast life, you like to drive, get down the back, 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 back. You want some love like when you get caught in a million dollars. No. It is a little difficult to work with because it is so stiff, but, oh shit, I messed that up. But I'm not mad at it. Let me fix that end a little bit. Now this is as good as it's gonna get. I never do my eyeliner holding a mirror like this. I'm always like really close to the bathroom mirror. But look at how pretty. I like the eyeliner. I just, maybe if I get a different, um. a different brush and use one that I already have, it would work better. I like this. I like uh, how it works. I like that it's matte. 
and it's not horrible I just it takes me longer to do it using that the next thing I picked up is this mascara it's in the same brand obviously so I'm gonna go ahead and try this just off the bat I do like the wand it is smaller this is what it looks like I know I'm making that ugly mascara face. I'm trying not to do that. <laughs> I like this as well. This would be perfect for the under eye. Now, I'm not big on putting mascara on the bottom lash for some reason on me I don't know if it's that I just don't know how to do it or it just, I feel like I it makes it look like I got a black eye when I do that like I don't think it looks cute on me now again I could just be doing it wrong or not know what I'm talking about because I'm not a makeup artist but I love this for the top lash. Oh, shoot. I almost stabbed myself in the eye. This mascara is good. And I love that blush. Look at that. This brand is good for a dollar. I've gotten, um, they also have, what is that? Um, lashes that I love. This, um, this lash glue works good too. So I think it's just that brand. That brand is good. I love that. Well guys, I guess that completes this haul. Um, I showed you a little bit of what I got and I also tested out some makeup. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.